Saludos. Welcome to another episode of The Wandering Broker. My name is Jose Quinones, broker of Linda Vista Real Estate in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. I am here with my co-host, Marquisa Edman. Marquisa, how are you doing today? Doing good. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> it's been a phenomenal morning so far. We've been having a lot of fun offset. So today's topic is, it's that time of the year. What are you doing to ready yourself for mortgage? What are you doing to prepare yourself for mortgage? So Marquisa, that's the topic, right? Let's jump right into it. People are always asking, people are always saying, recommending, you got to get your credit right. What does that mean? Okay, well, right now, you can jump ahead a little bit because it's tax season. So tax season, um, for a lot of people, will bring a refund. If it doesn't, that's still no excuse. We can still get ready, right? And the best way to get ready is tackling your credit, as you mentioned. So how do we tackle our credit? What we want to do is we want to actually be aware of our credit history. You have to know your history so that you know what you're working on, right? Now's a good time to go on annualcreditreport.com and get your free credit report. Everyone is entitled to a free credit report every year, whether you know it or not. Um, with annualcreditreport.com, you can pull your report, look at your credit history. Most people are aware of their credit history, but if you need a refresher, you can go ahead and pull your report and start looking at the trade lines. Trade lines such as revolving debt, which are your credit cards, installment debts, which are auto loans or personal loans, student loans, okay? Um, and look at your history at what your current balances are versus what the credit limits are and what your monthly payments are. Are you carrying high monthly payments on your debts, okay? That if you were to pay it off, it would put you in a better position of qualifying for more. But let's back up to what's actually on your credit there history. There you go. That's what I was going right? to ask you, yeah. Because there's a science to increasing your credit scores. And your credit scores do impact the mortgage interest rate that you're going to be able to um, pull out of the market. So when we back up to what's on your credit history, let's start with revolving debt, which are your credit cards, because that's where we get the most points. Your credit balances should not be any more than 5% of the credit limit. So your balance versus what you're actually authorized to purchase up to by that creditor shouldn't be more than 5%. So if I have a $1,000 limit on my credit card, yes. what are we talking about? You take 5% times $1,000, that's the, the limit that you want to cap and make for yourself. You don't want to go to that 1000 You want to take 5%. A lot of people do range. They start from having $500, right, and up. But you want to take that number and 5%, and you want to keep that in your head. You want to keep that in your head because that's going to generate points every 30 days when the credit bureau reports for Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion. So you've mentioned those three. How about credit karma, man? You know, can I go ahead and just use credit karma and go qualify for a mortgage? Okay, so here we go with Credit Karma, the most popular and most sought after, um, I would say, reporting tool of your credit history. However, it can be the most accurate, and I'm just going to be bold enough to say that. It's inaccurate in the sense of it will alert you and keep you track of what's going on with your history. However, the points tend to vary 20 to 50 points from where your actual scores are. And that's a big difference. That's a big difference. That's a big difference. That means if someone applies for a mortgage and they say, hey, and I always ask this when I'm taking their mortgage application, you know, what are you using to tell you what your credit scores are ranging, okay? And I use the word range because that is not your exact score, okay? And they say, oh, okay, I have a 620. Well, when you deduct 20 to 50 points from that, that puts you in the 500 range right then and there. And typically when your lender goes to pull your, your three scores with the credit bureau, they are lower than what Credit Karma is stating. So I'm not against Credit Karma. Okay, just remember that you want to deduct 20 to 50 points from that actual score it's giving you. And then also remember, it's more of telling you what your history is, what's going on. So if you had a collection pop up that you forgot about, well, Credit Karma is telling you something happened to your history. Can you dispute it? Can you use Credit Karma to dispute? Yes, you can. Okay. Yes, you can. Is there a charge? Well, I don't have Credit Karma personally, uh -huh. so I wouldn't know that. Um, but... If you want to ever dispute a, an, an account, you can always go to the three bureaus directly on their websites, Equifax.com, TransUnion.com, and Experian.com. 
Scroll all the way down to the bottom of each website and you can put that account in dispute with them directly. And the reason that I ask you that question is because I'm going to speak about my own experience. I know that when my wife and I started working on our credit when we first got married, actually to this day, I still pay, I think it's 16 bucks a month. I went, I was recommended to not use Credit Karma and go to Experian. And they have, a, uh, you can sign up 16 bucks a month, and once a month, they'll give you, um, you can qualify to get your credit report, but also you can actively track and dispute things that come up. So I love it because I'll probably go on there every other month just to check. Yes. And you'll get alerts. You'll get every time your credit changes or something gets reported or if you, like, for instance, I just recently refinanced a few properties and it alerted me that my credit was pulled by by the bank that I was working with. So mm -hmm. um, it's experience going that process better than using Credit Karma. If That's I got 16 bucks, I think it's, six, it's still 16 bucks. <laughs> if you got 16 bucks, 20 bucks a month, should I do that? So here's the thing. It's good to have something telling you what's going on with your credit history, alerting you, especially these days. So if it's credit karma, that's fine, but just keep in mind those are not your true mid FICA. Those are not your true scores, right? Your Fair. true FICA scores. In your case, you have Experian. Another great one is myfica.com. Because myfica.com, you can actually um, access the scores that it, that a lender would pull, so that a lender is going to see. myfico.com? Yes, myfico, yep, dot com. And there, you can actually access um, the same exact scores that a lender, a mortgage lender will pull, right? Mm -hmm. So it is good to have something reporting what is going on with your credit. But you just want to keep in mind that when you complete your mortgage application, there may be some variance there, right? And then you have to be prepared for that, okay? If I um, have some variance, would that knock me out of the running right now? So if you're on that borderline where you say, hey, I just made the cut of, of having a 620, which is what Credit Karma is telling me or Experian or anything, you want to realize that, hey, there may be some variance. I need to be prepared for that. Sometimes it's just an easy fix that if your scores aren't exactly what you're seeing, it's a matter of paying down the debt. And what do you want to pay it down to? 5% of the credit limit. You're, at, you're really going to get some points. Your lender can go ahead and get an updated credit score for you from there. There are things that they can do, but to do that, you need to have some savings, yeah. right? So that's what I was going. That was the, my next point. You know, the debt low. How to lower your debt low? How low should I be with my debt low compared to my credit? Okay. Well, not everybody has a big pot of money, so you want to be resourceful and smart in how you do it. And that's why we talked about revolving debt first. Paying down or paying off installments is not where you're going to get the most points. Okay. okay? Um, installments. The only time you really, really want to pay that off is if your mortgage lender says, hey, your debt is too high for the amount of home that you want to qualify for. Well, typically paying a large installment off will decrease your debt to income. However, that's not for the purpose of going after a higher credit score. That's just trying to reduce your debt. But keep in mind that you want to do all of this after you've talked to a lender, right? Because... You don't want to use all your money that you have set aside for your down payment and closing costs. So it's a balancing act, right? Now, let's talk about late payments. Sure. I have to bring this up, okay? Late payments do so much damage to your credit, and people don't realize that one late payment can erase 12 months' worth of work that you have been working for, keeping and everything on And say that time. one more time. One late payment can do what? It can take away 12 months' worth of work that you've been working so hard on, you know, building this history in one late payment. So we always, always want to keep everything on time. It's so important. I, I would say that um, I, have, I have seen so many times where just, you know, hey, leaving in, um, I would say, Maybe it could be unintentional, um, it just slipped your mind, but you really want to have those um, payments. If you're not set up automatically, put yourself in a, on a calendar. I know some people don't want to be automatic anymore. They yeah. want to control when um, funds are dispersed from their account, but put it on a calendar. It's worth it to make sure everything is paid on time. If you're at the point where something or a debt or a trade line is in a collection status, okay, you want to definitely speak with the lender to, on one, um, how do I tackle this? How important is it? Um, is it something that needs to be addressed before I purchase a home? Uh, housing guidelines do not require all collections to be handled the same. 
So that's something you want to know. And then from there, something that you had mentioned about the dispute status, okay, things like that. Um, that's something your lender will um, advise you on because not all trade lines can remain in dispute during the mortgage process. Um, that depends on how, how big the collection is, okay, what type of collection. Is it medical versus non-medical? Those are all things your mortgage lender can, can give you a tip on. So just, just I, I just want to harp on this, right? Mm -hmm. A late payment can be the difference, if you're going to go buy a car, can be the difference between you paying single digits interest rate to double digit interest rates. True or false? It, it, yeah, it has a it has a very big impact. So it can take you from where you had a six forty to a six twenty. That's definitely um, that's definitely a range that can impact what um, interest rate is unlocked for you. Yeah, you def late payments. You, late payments. And, and the reason late I see that because we see that a lot. I have yes. seen people, you know, in the process of purchasing their homes, almost there. Yes. And miss two three payments and sets them back a year and a half. Yes, yes. Because the only way to undo that damage is if you directly contact that creditor and that creditor removes that late payment history. So you can dispute it or say, hey, that shouldn't have happened, um, all you want. But until that creditor changes what they've reported to the bureaus and removes that, okay, um, because on your credit report, it will um, have a history for 30 days, 60 days, and 90 days. Until they go in there and, and remove that, and the lender can pull a new report showing that that history is no longer there, there is nothing we can do. And with that, if you need more information, how can they get a hold of you? Okay, give me a call at 302-824-8587. And for all your real estate needs, 302-313-1600. May you have a phenomenal day. <laughs>